Hello, welcome. I'm Noah with my co-host Rafael and Grayson. So today we'll be talking about Trey Turner's uh, Grand Slam and the World Baseball Classic. Yeah, I mean Trey Turner. He's been he he's hasn't had the best season in Philadelphia, but he's been doing what he needs to do. He did what he needed to do in the World Baseball Classic. He his team, the USA, played Japan in the championship. Japan won. Otani, absolutely amazing player, but I think. It's just going to be really hard for him because the Phillies, they've been kind of struggling when you think about it. And Trey Turner, they signed him to a ginormous deal, but he still hasn't been able to come through. And I think at this point, he's just going to have to – I mean, I, I don't think they're going to have him next year. They, I think it would be a smart idea to trade Turner, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, and I mean – in the World Baseball Classic, Trey Turner set the record for most home runs in a single World Baseball Classic, hitting four, hitting two in the semifinals, hitting one in the finals, uh, hitting, a, uh, hitting one against Mexico, and hitting the big grand slam that got them to the semifinals versus Venezuela. Yeah, I mean, Trey Turner, he's been very, he was very efficient in the World Baseball Classic, but I think it's just going to be hard that, I mean, when you're looking at this, it's going to be hard for Trey Turner to come through with the Phillies. So we have some breaking news. Juan Soto has been traded to the Braves for Michael Harris and three prospects. Wow. Um, Juan Soto, he is one of the best players in baseball right now. He has been amazing. He plays for the Padres, and now Michael Harris on the Padres. And Padres will easily take Michael Harris. He's just an amazing player. It's going to be exciting to see him on the Padres. For the Braves, though, Juan Soto, I mean, with Juan Soto, they can win a World Series. It's no doubt because they'll have Acuna, they'll have Albies, they'll have Olsen, and now Juan Soto. It's going to be a great year, rest of the year, for the Atlanta Braves. Okay, well, i got to be honest here. This was n I do not think that this was a smart trade for the Padres. I think that the Braves definitely benefited off of this because uh, Juan Soto is better than Michael Harris, and so they could have used Juan Soto as a great outfielder to replace Michael Harris. But, I mean, just Michael Harris and three, three prospects, I mean, that's a little risky when you're doing, when you're using a good outfield, or, and three prospects, normally it's one or two, but like, those could still be good players that you're throwing away, and then it's also, will those prospects be good and trade for Michael Harris? I mean, will that really add up? I, I do not think that this is a good trade for the Padres. Yeah, I mean... You kind of lost there when you have an outfield. I mean, the Padres, there's been some players struggling. Manny Machado, Tatis on steroids, hasn't. He's still been playing good, just hasn't been the player he was. And, I mean, this this Padres lineup is just going to be bad without Juan Soto. And the Braves are upgrade. De I mean, Braves definitely took advantage of this trade. Michael Harris, obviously not as good as him. But on three prospects, as you said, they could be – the next stars, and they could play for the Braves and be great stars for the Atlanta Braves. Thank you for watching, and make sure to tune into the Braves with their new addition.